Mark my words. In the future, every man will get a reversible vasectomy. What if I told you that in as little as three years, there might be a male birth control option on the market that would be as effective as a traditional vasectomy, almost completely painless and easily reversible when the time comes that you want to have kids. What if a simple 15 minute procedure could halt the teenage pregnancy epidemic in its tracks? And what if I told you that this extremely safe technology could significantly reduce the number of abortions in America without running afoul of any religious opposition where life begins at the moment of conception? If any of this sounds interesting to you, then you need to learn about Vasilgel. A few years back, The Economist declared that hormonal birth control was the single most influential invention of the 20th century. Birth control allowed women to chart their own reproductive futures and created a little space between the pleasures of sex and the biology of procreation. This new power vastly reduced unplanned pregnancies, increased women's educational and professional horizons, and ushered in the sexual revolution of the 1960s. But ask just about any woman about their experiences with birth control, and you'll likely hear a litany of complaints, from lower sex drive to painful cramps, backaches, bleeding, mood swings, and in some cases, even death. Every long-term partner I've been with has struggled to find a birth control method that they trusted and whose side effects were at least tolerable. Women bear this responsibility because men have really only two options, committing to condoms, which statistically have an insanely high failure rate of about 18%, or closing the door to kids forever and getting a vasectomy. But that's all about to change. Let me introduce you to the man who is going to make it all happen. So I go by Fox, LR Fox, uh, and I'm the CEO of Next Life Sciences. Fox is a serial Silicon Valley style entrepreneur who made his bones founding an aviation company that protects American airspace from drone attacks. And you could say that Next Life Sciences is a continuation of the business of keeping tiny objects out of places where they shouldn't be. And so it's been a life passion of mine to create a company that enables people to embrace their fundamental human right to choose when and if to have a child. And when we look at the biggest problem that exists, there's a lot of incredible technologies out there for female birth control. But when we look at the fact that half of all pregnancies are unplanned, I believe that's because birth control is completely ignored. You can think of vasal gel as a very tight mesh sieve that a doctor injects into the vas deferens, which is the tube that carries sperm from the testicles into the prostate before ejaculation. The sieve strains out all of the sperm that shoot through those tubes so that the man effectively shoots only blanks. It works pretty much exactly the same as a traditional vasectomy with one key difference. The vas deferens remains intact, which means that the procedure is easily reversible. All a doctor needs to do is inject a tiny bit of solvent into the sieve and it dissolves. Presto, the man's fertility is back online, almost like a light switch. It's hard to overstate how revolutionary this really is. Imagine if you could have as much sex as you wanted without any fear of getting your partner pregnant and with no side effects that mess with your hormones or cause you pain. Then, when you decide to have children, one 15-minute procedure sends you back off to the races. How would that change the anxieties that every couple feels about sex? The only downside that I can see is that it involves a minor and basically painless surgical procedure during the injection. But how big an obstacle is that really? The fact is there are really only two male birth control options, right? 
There's condoms, which have incredibly high failure rate, around 18% uh, and for many uh, use cases, and they have a 56% dissatisfaction rate. But when you actually look at the studies that are saying, will men use something that's a set it and forget it? The answer is yes. Yes, indeed. In fact, I first heard about Vasil Gel in 2011 when Wired ran an article about a very similar technology that had been developed in India all the way back in 1979. The project worked great, but ran into some regulatory hurdles, not because it wasn't safe, but because of the absurd bureaucracy of the Drug Control General India. That's India's version of the FDA. The original technology was called RISUG, which is an acronym for the incredibly bad name of reversible inhibition of sperm under guidance. This was basically the same concept as Vasil gel. It was an injectable goop that made someone temporarily infertile, but it used a slightly different mechanism. Instead of straining out the sperm, the Rysug gel carries a slight positive ionic charge that opposes negatively charged sperm. As the sperm pass by the gel, the differential in charges tears them to pieces. It's a great like Star Wars type like idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I always imagine is like these spaceships getting destroyed. Which is exciting, but also that's a lot more complicated to bring to market. Honestly, it's a great idea. After I read the Wired article, I did everything that I could to try to get one myself. I emailed half a dozen doctors in India. I'd fly there on my own dime, but I couldn't find anyone who'd let me have the procedure. The Indian version had already shown that it was 100% effective in preventing pregnancies in a sizable clinical trial of about 500 men, and I desperately wanted to get on that list. Unfortunately, the trials in India stalled out for political reasons, and they only got started again in 2020. Meanwhile, in America, a small nonprofit organization called the Parmesis Foundation was developing Vasil Gel with a minuscule research budget based mostly on donations. As you might expect, the going was slow. In the mid 2010s, they'd completed all of the animal trials, but hadn't been able to secure enough funding to ramp up into human testing. I followed the progress in America with bated breath for 10 years, but things just weren't really going anywhere. Then, the Supreme Court's recent overturning of Roe v. Wade breathed new life into the efforts. An announcement hit my email a few weeks afterwards that Next Life Sciences had licensed Vasil Gel and planned to get it into the market in just three years. Mm -hmm. So we've completed the preclinical trials, demonstrating that it's effective in mice, in rabbits, in canines, and in primates. Primates right. who are, have a statistically similar testicular structure to human males. Right. And now it's about going that, take that final step and doing that clinical trial with human males. At face value, it would seem that the Indian version is a little closer to making it onto the world stage. After all, in normal pharmaceutical trials, that final step of human testing is a pretty significant hurdle to bringing a drug to market. It can easily take 10 years for approval to wend its way through Byzantine FDA hoops. But Fox and Next Life Sciences have found an ingenious way around the most difficult aspect of regulatory approval. That's because Vasil Gel isn't a drug. In reality, it's a medical device. The water-based sieve doesn't have any chemical reactivity at all. It's simply a barrier that a doctor inserts into the vas deferens. And because it's a device and not a drug, the FDA approval process is significantly easier. Basil Gel will be the first male birth control product in market. But wait, it gets better. Because Next Life Sciences is not a traditional for-profit pharmaceutical company. It's registered as a benefit corporation, which means it's ostensibly motivated by its contribution to the public welfare instead of corporate profits. Vasil Gel will be relatively affordable with lots of incentives to make it almost free for anyone who wants it. Though to be completely transparent, if you were going to pay full freight for the maximum cost, it would be around $2,000.
Compare that to the cost of raising a kid, and it's a steal, if you ask me. It is hard not to get excited by how an easily reversible vasectomy could change the national conversation around birth control in America. This will allow men to become real partners in their own reproductive futures and take some of the burden off of women. It can serve as a couple's primary form of protection or as a redundant measure for more promiscuous people. It also seems to have traction on both sides of the political aisle. I was just at the White House last week um, and uh, also meeting with different congressional representatives. And I can tell you what's so fascinating is that no matter which side of the aisle you are on, whether you are the most pro-life person in the room or the most pro-choice in the room, everyone can agree that reducing unplanned pregnancies is the most beneficial to women's health as well as to our overall economic health. If you want my opinion, I think that reversible vasectomies should be the national standard of care across our entire population. Uh, my uh, uh, feeling, personal yeah. feeling, is that every male at 13 should get this and, yes. Yes. and then see what happens afterwards. 1000%. Yes. It, it, it's so funny you say that because that's exactly, exactly the age that I say. America is awash in unplanned and teenage pregnancies. Teenagers are fertile long before their brains are completely developed and before they have the tools to become responsible parents themselves. Instead of letting kids explore their own sexualities, along with the immediate risk of knocking up their partners, why not give teenagers the option of delaying their own fertility until a later date? It's a no brainer if you ask me. I don't want people to your point thinking about the, the practicalities of having a child when they're deciding if they're gonna have sex. That's yeah. the, like the worst time for anybody to make a decision is I'm about yeah. to have sex. Like, let me make this like logical decision that will change the trajectory of my life, my partner's life and this new child that we might be bringing into the world. <laughs> a vasal gel implant will last at least 10 years, after which time a doctor can determine if the patient needs a new shot or the old one is holding up just fine. I think you can tell how extremely excited I am about Vasil Gel and how it could change the reproductive future of America. If you want to find out more about Vasil Gel, go check out the link to the Next Life Sciences down in the doobly-doo and sign up for their email update. While you're down there, you can also sign up for my own newsletter and check out some of the other videos on this channel, as well as the research around Rysug and Vasil Gel that I will uh, put right down there. Now, be well, my beautiful people, because the future just got a little brighter.